Hello, hello, hello! How are you doing today? I hope you're having a great day. I certainly am. Um, I've got this lovely 8x10 canvas and I have... I totally forgot to tape off the other side of it. Oops, so I'll definitely have to cover that with something eventually, but... Um, Anyway, I've coated it with my white paint, which is my, it's the very last of my uh, Beauty Tone Signature Series um, house paint, luster gloss house paint mixed with Floetrol. Um, and then I've got some of these same colors here. I've got a teeny tiny bit of that custom purple I made up. I've got my peacock blue, my tropical blue, and my hunter green, and then I've got a teeny tiny bit of bronze. And look what I got for Christmas! Da -da -da -da. It's a little portable mini air blower. It's actually, I, I guess you can put paint in, I, I, I don't know anything about them, right? But I, I, apparently you can put paint in this little top thing and spray paint out of it, which is not what I'm going to use it to do. I'm going to use it to blow. Um, I thought it would be just as easy as a blow dryer for me. And it fits in my hand very nicely. It just charges up with a USB charger. Didn't take very long either. So... Um, we're going to give this a try, and we're going to try a Dutch pour again. So, um, again, I'm going to do a, a squiggly line guy here, and um, let's see what happens. So I did thin down my paint. I know when I did that last one, I was crying the whole way through because I had meant to do a dip, and I started pouring it into a Dutch pour formation and and my paint was way too thick. So anyway, this is quite a bit thinner now. I added some of my pouring medium, which is still um, white glue and water, actually. Oh, and in my base paint, um, instead of putting water in it to thin it out after I added the flow trawl. Gosh, I can't believe there was that much of that left in there. <laughs> um, anyway, after I added the flow trawl, it was still a little bit thick. So instead of adding water to it, I added that polycrylic um, minwax, that high gloss polycrylic minwax stuff. So I'm thinking that should be pretty interesting. I'm going to try to not pour this too quickly. See how nicely that runs now? I'm not getting big globs of it like I was getting before. So that's very nice. Okay, so that's the Hunter Green and the Peacock Blue. So then let's go with this Tropical Blue. And then we'll do a little bit of the bronze. Oh no, no, I've done I haven't done the hunter green yet. So let's let's do that first. The hunter green and then we'll go with the blue and then the copper. Sorry, not bronze, copper. Okay, ooh, let's hope this isn't too thin. Oh no, it's just nice. It's a little less, if you make soap or you've ever made soap and you know what trace is, it's, uh, this would be like a very, very, very light trace. Um, for a dip, you want it more at like a heavy trace. Um, which just means it doesn't leave any kind of a pattern, really, when you, when you dribble it onto the thingy, uh, you know, <laughs> when you're stirring it and when you dribble it onto your whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't leave... A pattern or a pile on the on the paint it just kind of soaks right in right away but I'm hoping to get some squeeze bottles I think I need to take either a run to the dollar store or order some on um, Amazon I like um, I have this, right? This little glue bottle. So maybe I just need to buy some more of these. I love the pointy tip on this um, because it really lets me pinpoint where things go. 
Just going to put a little bit of this here and there. It might be a little bit too thick. Let's hope not, but it might sink all the way to the bottom. I forgot to put gloves on. <laughs> ah, maybe I should do that before I... I am in the process of cooking dinner after all, so... I mean, not that I won't wash my hands, but... Easier to keep the paint off of them. I don't need to scrub with a brush because I'm going to eat. I've got a few drips there and I don't see. There they are. I don't know what this stuff is. Little drips of paint or something. Okay, so I'm going to flood. Oh, I should have maybe put some of this into something else, shouldn't I have? Maybe I'll do it like this. I don't think I need to flood it too much because I've got a pretty heavy coat down underneath there. So, but we'll, we'll try it a little bit anyway. Actually, I need to I need to do it sometime when I put such a heavy coat down. I need to do it without without flooding it. Okay, so here goes. I guess I should maybe move those. I don't think my <laughs> blower is going to be that powerful, but um, it's not that powerful. I've tried it. But it should. Blow the paint over. And then let's try to... I don't know, I guess apparently it has different different amounts of air that it can blow out. At one time. <laughs> well, it definitely left a divot. <laughs> okay, so let's blow out. <laughs> I don't know about this. And I keep touching it down into the paint. Trying to get it down low enough. Well, you know what? Not fully working. I think it'd be good for doing the edges and stuff, but... of it. Um, and let's see if we can get anything to move anywhere with this blow dryer that we've got here. No, still it won't even move it.
Alrighty then, let's pull out our trusty straws. So apparently I still need a blow dryer. <laughs> Hmm, maybe my white's just too heavy. I don't know, but I am not liking that at all. I think what I'm going to try to do is... I'm going to try a couple of puddle pours with these same colors. Let's try you again. <laughs> oh my, okay, well here we go. I'm getting something going on here now. My goodness. Okay. So that really helped. Let's do that again. <laughs> And then I think I'll stretch it down to here a little bit. Maybe not quite as much of a puddle this time. Oops. Squeezy bottles will be so much neater. Do it again. Oh, my. I need to run a torch over this because <clears throat> it has got bubbles all over. I mixed this white paint, this white house paint. I mixed it earlier today. I uh, did let it sit for an hour or two, but it might not have been enough. Come on. 
Sometimes you get those big bubbles that just don't want to pop. You don't want to get too close, right? Because you don't want to burn the paint. Or singe it or whatever. There we go. Come on. All right. So now I want to stretch it just a little bit down that way because I've got it almost to the edge here, but not quite to the edge there. So ever so slowly well I hope everybody is having a fabulous holiday season and a wonderful new year and I hope 2020 brings everything that you hope for I might need a little more white down there so I can get this paint to move. Ah! <laughs> I'll try not to knock everything over. Oh, I want a little bit of white right there. Now, it'll be interesting. I know I've talked a couple of times about how much I'm liking that this flow trawl um, levels itself out so nicely. And I really do like that, but I am going back to my glue because that's the last of my flow trawl. All right, let's see if that helps you move. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Honey was very pleased with his gift. I managed to surprise him. As I told him, I wasn't going to buy that for him. <laughs> Quite adamantly said I was not going to buy that for him. Even though it was the only thing he really wanted. So, that worked out nicely. Oh, come on, that little bit there is pushing it down. This is actually going to turn out quite nicely, adding those extra, those extra spots really made a difference. We're getting it almost down there. What do you think? Do you think it's beautiful? I'm still having issues with my paint drying unevenly. So what's up with that? I'll try to bring this back. But like I can see here already, I've got a spot that um, the paint is not as thick here as it is in other places. So is that going to level itself out into this? Um, I'm going to torch it again and then I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes or so and we'll come back and we'll find out if it leveled out or not. Okay, so let's come on down for a close-up. I think it turned out pretty nicely. In the end, not bad for a first attempt with a new tool. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty neatly. Some of the colors are just fabulous. Some of those teals that came in there and the purples. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye now.